Bracket they hawa shy, bracket they hawa, bracket they hawa shy, bracket they hawa, bracket they hawa shy. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahawa, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rekakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone who do rule and teach well. Peace and salutations to all you Akim out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's the brother Yara, Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. To feed the body and edify the sheep in all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine. All right. So uh, you see the title of the lesson. All right. And um, the word that we'll be going into is uh, a cult. Okay. A cult. All right. Which is a word and a term used by, uh, um, you know, our, our enemies. All right. And in this case, two thirds of our own nation. Okay. You so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. You are the Israelites. All right. But you're also the two thirds of the Israelites, the unbelievers. OK. And, um, you know, this term is used a lot. I've heard this term being used, you know, ever since I've came into the truth. OK. Even 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 being used by those that are, you know, you know, closest to me. Right. Or, or that were closest to me, you know, wife, children, family, so-called friends. Right. And you definitely hear it amongst our people, man. All right. So. <clears throat> This is a video that actually sparked the spirit, all right, for me to actually go into this lesson and Lord willing, it's edifying to the body and to feed the sheep through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai, all right? This is a, a, a video that was done by uh, uh, Elder, all right, uh, uh, Manat Zakba from South Carolina, all right? Now, I'm going to play the intro because he had actually uh, captured, you know, some of these unbelievers here, all right? You know what, matter of fact, I'm going to go right to... Um, the chick, okay, it actually made that comment about it being an occult, okay, we're going to go right to it, okay, if you want to see the rest, you know, you, you can go to the video, as you can see, the title is at the top there, Hebrew Israelites, many are being rejected by the Lord, okay, which is correct, you know, many are being rejected by the Lord, and they don't even know it, right, but let me play this, uh, Snigger woman, you know, right here. Not her, but the one coming after. Okay, I'm going to comment to this uh comment real fast. I stated on my last TikTok video that we are not Hebrew Israelites. It is a demonic cult, a people who was full of anger, insecurity, and wrath, uh, a bunch of stuff. It's demonic. This cult is sent and created by the devil to cause division in the body of Christ to make people feel like if they're not a part of this chosen people, that they're not going to make it to heaven, whether they put their faith in him or not. So uh, those who are Hebrew Israelites, I know exactly where they're going to go in the scripture. I don't debate it anymore because it's a waste of time. People actually out here who want to be saved, healed, and delivered. Nobody got time for that, okay? At the end of the day, a Hebrew Israelite that goes to the Bible, they use certain scriptures to validate their doctrine. But then there's other scriptures that contradict their doctrine. So like it, the, the scripture that comes to mind is uh, the scripture where it says, a foolish woman is clamorous, okay? She just keep running her mouth like this one right here. All right, a foolish woman is clamorous. And she know of nothing. Okay, roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay, because you heard her just say, "Well, I know I already know what scriptures they're gonna go to. I'm tired of debating. Stop it. I doubt you. I doubt you. I doubt that this woman ever came up to a camp of, uh, you know, a group of men, all right, being Hebrew Israelites, and debated with them. I highly doubt that. She probably came out there screaming and yelling, getting emotional, and then, you know, walked away." You know, but Salaki, let's keep going. So if you're reading the Bible and you got scriptures contradicting what you believe, then it's not anybody else. It's you. It's not God. It's you who is in error. You are in biblical error and you have improper uh, exegesis. The Bible said, I believe in John 3, 16, that God for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, uh, uh, that those who believe in him will have eternal life. So if God so... <laughs> really, you know what? <laughs> because that, that, that scripture there has been broken down so many times over the years, man. Okay, there are apostles and elders of Great Millstone, starting with Apostle Tahar, all right, on down, all right, has already debunked that that John 3.16 scripture a million times, okay? So these Christians, man, you know, they want to hold on to that. No, 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 that means the whole world, you know? 
and, 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 and you know, for you sincere, you know, Akim and Akwath out there listening and learning, you have to understand, man. That's why the Lord told us, man, all right, in the last book of the last book and the last chapter of the Bible. All right. Uh, you know, that that uh, that uh, he he that is he that is, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, um, he that is foolish, let him be foolish still, you know, roughly paraphrasing, man. OK. All right. The Lord told us to, 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 you know, just, just, just let them continue to be foolish, man. All right. Don't, don't even waste your time. Cause no matter how you break it down to them, all right, they're not going to get it. All right. And we're going to get into that too. Okay. But I mean, that was, that was a pretty much the point as far as this video. I, I you know, I don't want to continue to, to hear her rambling. Right. But notice that, you know, she, she makes all of these excuses like the average Christian. All right. But also she used the term in the beginning, all right, that they're in a cult, you know, they're a bunch of angry people, all right? Notice she said men, all right, which shows that she hates men, right? She's probably some wild, you know, feminist, right? That's a slut and a whore, right? But anyway, but she, but she used the term uh, uh, um, a cultist, okay, all right, or a cult, all right? So a lot of these people, man, you know, like her, you know, they use these big, big, you know, uh, 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 words, right, to try to to try to sound like they know what they're speaking about. They have no clue what they're speaking about. You see, in actuality, they have no idea what they're speaking about, right? But it's just that they don't want to let go of what they've been taught, what they've been learned, right? Which is the whole point of repenting or or, or being born again, right? You see, you have to be washed and cleansed, right, of all the filth that you've learned, you know, over the course of your lifetime growing up, all right, in the churches and in the world period, all right. That's that's the whole point of re repenting, okay, or be, or being a, a a born again, okay. You see, being being baptized by the hearing of the word, man. You see. But these people, they're not going to get it. But we're about to get into why, okay? But look, but first and foremost, let's get into that word, all right? Cult, okay? You're in a cult, right? Let's get into that word, cult, all right? So I, I went into the uh, Etamon online for the word occult, as you can see, all right? And the main definition I want, want to focus on here, okay, is where it says right here, hidden, concealed, secret, Right. Because that's what they claim that we are. Right. Oh, you're in a cult. You're in a cult. Right. Well, a cult means to be hidden, concealed or secret. Right. Which 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 we're going to we're going to uh, uh, dive into both both ends, because this is this is twofold here. OK, this is twofold. All right. Are we in a cult? Yeah. <laughs> this this knowledge, wisdom and understanding is an occult. OK. In the terms that it's hidden, it's concealed from the wicked of our own people, man. All right. Especially the wicked. All right. Esau, Edom and the rest of the heathen nations, man. OK. They're not going to be able to 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 uh, understand the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures or, or of God, period, man. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. You see. Because it is hidden to them. OK. It is hidden from them. Salakia. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 8. And it reads, heal the sick. And cleanse the lepers, okay? Raise the dead. See, these these are instructions for the men, you know, that 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 go out and do the work that have been gifted with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right, that have been given the secrets. Okay. <laughs> all right. Matter of fact, we're gonna get that scripture too because the scripture says, "What the Lord doeth nothing, but He revealeth His secrets unto His servants, the prophets." See. It doesn't reveal it. It didn't say he revealeth his secrets unto any and everybody. No, he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. OK, so it so so this knowledge, wisdom and understanding of of God's words are not hidden to us. OK, we understand it fully. You see, it says heal the sick, cleanse the lepers. All right. Raise the dead, cast out devils. Right. Which is what we do, what we go out in the streets and we do. Right. Only to the elect, okay? As it is written also in the scriptures, okay? The Lord said, what? My sheep hear my voice, okay? So we don't have to, you know, hold your hand or try to pull you into actually or try to force you to, you know, uh, uh, um, hear the words of God and, 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 and be converted and healed. No. All right? 
All we all we have to make sure that we're doing is is, is a speaking the correct words of the Lord. OK, not our own words and our own feelings and emotions like you just saw the, you know, the woman do. Right. But the words of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. And he said he comes in a volume of the book. So 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 in anything we read out of the scriptures, man. All right. The elect is going to hear. All right. And they're and they're going to come forth just like we did. OK. It says freely have ye received freely give. So in the sense of it being an occult. All right. It being hidden, it being a secret, right? All right, it's double fold, right? Because yes, it is hidden. It is, you know, a secret to the wicked, right? But it, 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 it's not, you know, th this, uh, this uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, all right, is in your face. It's being given to you freely. See, the Lord said, "Freely have ye received." See, that's us. You know, we didn't, we, we didn't have to uh, 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 pay. To get a breakdown, pay to get the breakdown of the name and the secrets of the Lord. No, we didn't have to do that, right? It was freely given to us, all right? And we accepted it, okay? You see? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know? But it, said, it says freely give. It's telling us to, okay, we, we freely received it, now freely give it. And we're out there freely giving it, man, okay? Faithfully, man, okay? Some brothers hit the highways and hedges, what, two or three times a week. You see, freely giving out this knowledge, wisdom and understanding of the Lord's words, man. OK, the Bible. Right. But our people don't want to uh, 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 partake in that, man. OK, let's get that scripture, too, man. All right. Our people don't want to receive something that's been freely given to them, man. OK. And the Lord's doing that for a reason, too, man. OK, he's putting you. He's, he's putting two thirds of our people in the trick bag, man. All right. Let's get this here. All right. Um, right here. All right. So like you. It's my little alarm. All right. This is uh, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33 and verse 32. All right. One of my favorite chapters. And it reads, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play a and can play well and, and on an instrument. OK, see, see. We're out there singing, right? We're singing this new song, new meaning a uh, uh, kainos, which means refreshed, okay? Because because you know, like that like that two third you just got through hearing, you know, in the beginning of the video, and like most of our people, right? You aren't used to hearing the the, the, the uh, scriptures being broke down, okay, to you in this manner, okay? All right, you haven't heard it being you haven't heard certain scriptures being explained to you, okay? the correct way right so they hear us singing right this 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 a uh, pleasant and lovely song right you see oh oh they're reading out the bible they must be christians right let me go over and hear what they have to say right it says for they hear the thy words right you guys hear us right because what the lord told us what freely have you received freely give right it's not a secret we're out there giving it to you it says but they do them not see they hear the instructions that were given them, okay, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai, because it's really the Lord giving it to you freely, right? It says, but they do them not, all right? Our people reject it, okay? Our people reject it, all right? And what does the scripture say, all right? Uh, 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 our people are destroyed, right? Let's see, destroyed, yep, destroyed for a lack of knowledge, all right? Hosea 4 and 6. All right. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. See, you it, it's it's not like it's it, it, it's it's an occult. It's being held secret from you, you know, by those that have received it. No, you see. See, that's what Esau does on the left hand side. Right. You see, he holds back his secrets. OK, that, see, that's where his power lies. Right. But he's losing his power. Why? Because all of his secrets are being revealed. OK. Hell, he's being revealed, see, by the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai through his men, his prophets, right? But our people, okay, reject knowledge, okay? They they reject the knowledge and wisdom and understanding that's been freely given to them, okay? You see, it's not a secret, all right? You just don't want to accept it. You just reject it. It says, because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, see? That's why the Lord is rejecting you, man, because you're rejecting his knowledge, man. OK, 
because you're more so focused on the actual men that's actually telling you that, okay? The men that the Lord is using their voice to actually tell you his words, right? You're so focused on the carnal aspect that you're not receiving the spiritual gifts of it. You see? It says, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest unto me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children, okay? And you are the and you are your children, okay? You are your children, man, okay? I'm not talking about uh, 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 your children nowadays. No, no, okay? Because this, this goes all the way back to, you know, uh, 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 um, um, when you were, you know, when uh, two-thirds of our people were in the, um, you know, were in the wilderness, man, okay? During the time of Moses, okay? You see? You rejected it then. So guess what? The Lord rejected your children, which is you. You came back, and right now, you're being rejected. You see? All right? So let's go back to that word occult, okay? Let's go back to this word occult, okay? Because this is what they call this. Oh, they, oh, you guys are in a cult. You're in a cult, right? Hidden, concealed, secret, okay? So, so on one hand, it's not really hidden to you, okay? It's in your face. You just reject it, okay? You just reject it, okay? All right? But why? Because you people are prideful and you're wicked, man, Okay? You don't want to turn from your iniquity, you see? You want to hold on to the things of the world, man, all right? You don't want to let it go, right? So on the other hand, this is why it's hidden from you, okay? This is why it's concealed. This is why it's, it's a secret to you. This is why you can't understand it, all right? And, and, and now you're getting it in your emotions, right? Like this, like this woman, right? You're getting in, you're getting in your, your, your uh, emotions because you can't understand it, you see? This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 13. All right, I'll start at verse 10, and it reads, And the disciples came and said unto him, said unto who? All right, the one you ignorantly call Jesus, okay? His, his, his real name is Yahweh Shai, man, okay? All right, and you people are going to learn and understand that through death by pain, man, okay? It says, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Okay, see, even Yahweh Shai went on the highways and hedges, just like we do, right? And spoke to the unbelievers, all right, two-thirds of the nation of his own people, okay, in parables, man, okay? He didn't, he, he, didn't, he didn't break the scriptures down to them plainly, okay? But they asked him, well, 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 why are you breaking it down to them in parables, all right? Why not give it to them plain, the way you give it to us? This is what the Lord said. He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you, to know the mysteries. Look at that. Going back to that word occult. Okay. Something that's secret. Something that's hidden. Concealed from somebody. Okay. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. See. All right. The scriptures talk about, you know, people say, you know, you hear these Christians say all the time. Well, I, I found God. I found God. I found God. How did you find God? Now, where is that in the scriptures that you find God? You see, because as it is written in the scriptures, right? Matter of fact, let's grab it really quickly, okay? Let's grab it really quickly, okay? Yep, right here. Book of St. John, chapter 15, and verse 16, and it reads, Ye have not chosen me, see? Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, see? You see that? But you hear these Christians say it even till this day. You know, uh, uh, I found God. I found God. You can't find God, man. OK. <laughs> All right. He finds you, man. OK. And you people are butt hurt because he has not he has not chosen you. OK. He says, "Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. See, the men of the Lord you see on the highways and hedges, the Lord have chosen them and, or, and ordained them. OK. It says, and ordain you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, see? Fruit, fruit meek for, for uh, repentance, see? And that your fruit should, should remain, that whosoever ye shall ask, it's like a, for that, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, see, that's why, that's why the name is so important, man, okay? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. When have you ever people ever called on Jesus and he came through for you, man, okay? Especially in the times to come, you go ahead and call on that name and see what happens. Nothing. But you're going to see. <laughs> you're going to learn. 
It says he may give it to you. OK, so we call on you. How about Shimei was shy, man? All right. And bros have testimonies of, of, of the Lord delivering them, man. OK. And we have many more testimonies to come, man. OK. You see of the Lord delivering us for calling upon his name in the name of his father. OK. You see. So let's go back. All right. So the reason why these people don't get it is because uh, uh, um, it's not ordained for you to get it. OK, that's why that's why uh, uh, um, we go out and we give it to you plainly and simple. We can break it down, you know, so, 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 you know, you know, plain to you where that where that, you know, uh, uh, um, um, you know, a child could even understand it. Right. But you still don't get it. Right. It says because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. All right. Uh, let me jump down. Verse 13, it says, therefore, and these are rare letters, so this is Yahweh Shai speaking, okay, who you call Jesus, all right? Therefore, speak I unto them in parables, because they seeing, see not, see? And hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand, see? That's why you're all butthurt, because you don't understand, all right? You see? Verse 14, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, okay? It says, which saith, by hearing... Ye shall not. It's like ye, ye shall hear, and and shall and shall not understand, and and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. Okay, they don't understand. They don't get it. Okay, they don't see the kingdom of heaven, man. They don't see the Lord returning, man, to save His chosen people and destroying and judging the rest of the people, man. Okay, they don't. They they can't see that. Okay, they can't see peace and harmony and rest in the kingdom of heaven, man. They can't see a new world that. You know, uh, 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 um, uh, you know, feminism doesn't exist. Homosexuality doesn't exist. Uh, uh, um, the white man in rulership doesn't exist. OK, your favorite uh, 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 um, um, wicked ass rapper, you know, NBA young boy is not, you know, uh, 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 um, going platinum, you know, and et cetera, et cetera. They can't see a world without these things, man. OK. Let's continue. This book of Second Corinthians, chapter three. All right. In verse 13. All right. And it reads. And not as Moses. OK. Which put a veil over his face that the that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is uh, uh, um, abolished. OK. And why did Moses have a veil over his face after he came down from, you know, the the the, uh, the mountaintop? From you know, uh, uh, I'm getting the the uh, the uh, commandments, the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly Father from the heavenly Father, because as it is written in the scriptures, man. Okay, it says it says a wisdom maketh a man's face to shine. Okay, you see, just like us today. All right, people see our faces shining. Okay, you ever you know I'm, I'm talking I'm talking to the uh, the uh, the uh, brethren. Okay, that has that has this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You ever walk into a room, just a random room, or you be out and about? Grocery store, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You walk into the room with a lot of people and all of a sudden people just kind of just just instantly look over at you. You don't really don't know why they're looking at you. You really don't know why they, you know, you, you know, they have your it's like a, you, uh, you have their full attention. Right. It's because that knowledge, wisdom and understanding, they they see they see that wisdom shining. They see that glow upon you, man. I've, I've actually had people come up to me. And actually say, man, it's, it's, it's like a glow around you. You see? So they can see it, but they don't understand that that's the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Lord, man. Okay? Just like in the time of Moses. Okay? Verse 14. But their minds were blinded. See? The same as today. <laughs> For until this day remaineth the same veil untaken away. And the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Yahweh Shai. See, you see, unless unless you hear the unless you hear the voice of Yahweh Shai, not 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 Jesus. Right. Everybody done heard the voice of Jesus. Right. All right. Christianity is the number one religion in the world. But what about the Lord saying in the scriptures that he's only coming back for a remnant? Well, then that means a lot of these Christians are, are going to get cut off. See, that, that doesn't make sense. Right. He's coming back to save all those that believe in him, man. OK, but you have to call upon the correct name, which is Yahweh Shai. OK, and see, guess what? Everybody's not going to accept that name. See, but it's OK. You see, 
they're not supposed to, all right? If they don't accept it, they're not supposed to accept it, all right? It says, but, but only in Yahweh Shai can that veil be taken away, you see? What does the scripture say? Uh, 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 um, the Lord said, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know, if he come to your door and he, and, he, and, and he knocks, all right, if he open the door, he'll come in and sup with you, okay? The, the, the door is your mind, okay? You see? When you hear the words of the Lord coming from his men, all right, whether it's on the highways and hedges and you're walking past or you come across a video on the internet, you know, preferably YouTube, okay? And you hear the words of the Lord, okay? And you open your mind, you open the door, right? The Lord will come in and sup with you, okay? But most people, they don't open the door, you see? It says, but uh, verse 15, but even unto this day when Moses is read, see, the, the uh, five books of Moses, right? The veil is upon their hearts, okay? Your heart meaning your minds, okay? You see? It says, nevertheless, when it shall turn, so like when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away, see? When you, when you, when you hear the Lord knocking, you see, and you let him in, all right? Then that's when that veil is going to be taken off, man. That's when you're going to truly understand. See? All right? Matter of fact, let me keep going. Verse 17, it says, Now the Lord is that spirit. See? And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. See? All right? The men of the Lord, th those that were blessed with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, okay? And I'm talking about, you know, even, you know, you a few sincere women too, okay? You have been liberated. We have been liberated, man, with this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, okay? Okay? What does the scripture say? Simply, what? Truth. The truth shall set you free, okay? You know, roughly paraphrasing, okay? So we've been liberated. We've been freed, okay? From the, uh, from the uh, strongholds of this world, man, okay? Verse 18. But we all, with open face, beholding as, as it will... Well, I'll go to the next scripture, okay? Okay, that's going into something else. All right. So this book of Romans, chapter 11. All right. And verse seven. Let me see where we at with time. OK, I'll let here wrap it up. Book of Romans, chapter 11, and verse seven. And it reads, it says, what then Israel have not obtained. Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. See, two thirds of the nation of Israel, they seek the truth. Right. But they have not obtained it. See, they don't have it. You see, that's why they try to come at us for even having it. See. As it is written, all right. If they hate you, if they hate you, just know that they hated me before they hated you. Okay, so really, you hate the Lord. You hate Yahweh Shai, man. All right, you hate Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You really don't hate us, all right? Because we're coming in, we're coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, it says, but the election have obtained it. See, the only only the small remnant of our nation have obtained it. This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It says, and the rest were blinded. See. That goes back to, you know, back into that term occult, okay, which means what? Let's go back to it. All right. Hidden, concealed, secret. See? All right. It is a secret unto you, man. All right. Hidden, concealed, secret. Okay. But the rest and the rest were blinded. See? Two thirds of the nation of Israel are blinded. All right. Verse eight. According as as it is written, all right, it says, God have have given them the spirit of slumber, see, eyes that they should not see, see. So 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 don't get mad at us that you don't understand, man. Hey, hey you might as well get mad at the Lord because <laughs> he gave you he put that veil over your eyes and kept it there. He gave you he gave you uh, uh, um, the spirit of slumber and eyes that 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 you should not see and understand and ears that they should not hear unto this day see unto this day till this day right book of hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 and it reads my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge see and we read that earlier all right and and, and this is why our people reject us man okay because really you're rejecting the lord man okay so, so, you know, we don't take any offense. We don't, we don't, we don't get into our feelings and emotions and, oh my God, why, why won't you hear me? Why won't you understand? No, we don't do that on the highways and hedges. Look, okay, look, if you don't get it, we're moving on, <laughs> you know? 
continuing on, uh, the book of the book of St. Jude, chapter one and verse 10, and it reads, but these speak evil, who? Even till this day, you people, two thirds of the nation of Israel, just like you heard this nigga woman, okay? Just like you heard this nigga woman. You're in a call. You're in a call. Through Jesus, everyone can make it. See? But these speak evil of those things which they know not. They, they, only, they, don't, they, don't, even under, they don't even know what the hell they, they even talking about, man. They just want to argue. They, they just, they just want to be right, you know? They want to fulfill that, 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 that a fleshly pride that they have, right? Of just being right, even even though they they don't they have no clue what the hell they even talking about, you know. It says, but what they know naturally as brute beasts. See, you people being brute beasts in those things they corrupt themselves. See, no, no, his name ain't Yahweh Shai. It's Jesus, right? No, 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 no. You talking about the white man is Esau? No, 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 he not. You know, the white man can make it, or Esau can make it. You know, no, 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 no. We can, we, uh, 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 God bless all, all foods, in, including pork, you know, including shrimp and lobster. We can eat it. It's blessed. It's clean to us now. See? And all, see, see, it says, in, in those things, they corrupt themselves. See? All right. So I want to end it off with this scripture. All right. Just for you sincere brothers and sisters out there listening and learning for all of us, man. Okay. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, all right, and verse 3 and 4, and it reads, Fear not the imaginations against thee, okay? Don't worry about these people, man, right? It says, let not the incredulity, and we know what that word incredulity means, right? All right, the unbelief, right? They don't believe, right? Let not the incredulity or unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee, see? Just, just like, just like, just like you heard that woman saying, right? Just like you hear all our people, you know, two thirds of our people say, right? It says, "For all the unfaithful, two thirds of the nation of Israel, shall die in their unfaithfulness," and that's the point, man. Okay, they're going to be put to death. They're going to be judged for that, man. You're okay because they think that they're rejecting us, but they're not. They're rejecting the Lord, man. Okay. So, is this an occult? Yes, in the sense of it's hidden from you. Okay. It's hidden from you because the Lord is, is hiding this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding for you, you know, from you, you see? Even though it's been freely given to you, you reject it. And that's why you still, to this day, have that, that, that a veil over your eyes where that you can't hear, see, or understand it, you see? So I'm, I'm going to end it off there. Lord willing, this is edifying to the body, the unfed, the sheep, through the spirit, and power of Yahweh, Shai, Shalom, and Ababa Ball.